Are you feeling angry? I'm on feeling angry. <laughs> what happened today? You are a little bit late. Yes, um, transportation and traffic, you know? Transportation and traffic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can you talk about comparing from uh, Caribbean to, to Tanzania about transportation? It's just about the same. Is that, it's just about the same? Yeah, same. Dollar, dollar, you know. Yeah, same thing. Okay. You must welcome my friend uh, Ras Ayatou. 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 Yeah. Ras Ayatou. Yeah. Uh, how things happening since last week? I remember last week I was with you inside the house. Yeah, everything is Irie, you know. Give thanks and praise to Celestia Force for life and health and strength to be here this time again with you and the listening audience and sharing information. Okay, that, that's good, that's good. Uh, I'm warmly welcoming you to this ready music, uh, ready show, ready box. Today is the second day. What are we going to talk about today? Well, um, I and I could speak of the divinity of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie IV of Ethiopia. Yeah and the significance of Ethiopia as the only non-colonized country in Africa mm -hmm. and its fantastic history mm -hmm. and the, the, the history of their resistance against the colonial masters. Yeah. Yeah. So Ethiopia was a non-colonialized? Non-colonialized country in Africa, the only one. There was no colonial? No colonial masters ever ruled Ethiopia. Why? 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 Why Ethiopia was not ruled? Because even America was ruled by the colonial Europe also, and some of the countries from Asia, Africa. Why? Why? Why Ethiopia was not colonized? Well, first of all, to the powers of the Most High, Haile Selassie the First, and also Ethiopia is the gates of Zion. Yeah. Ethiopia is where the Mosai choose to dwell mm -hmm. and Ethiopia is also the source of the River Nile and because of its mountains mm. and its fierce warriors. Yeah. yeah. That's why they were not colonized. Yeah. Okay. That's good to hear from you but also we need to know about the highest. That's that, that was about Ethiopia. Yeah. But we need to know also. Why people focus on Ayah Selassie? Who is Ayah Selassie? What did he do to Ethiopia or to the world? Because I think it's the world issue. A lot of people in Italy, in Germany, in America, in Africa, Asia, they talk about Ayah Selassie. Can you give us a brief about Ayah Selassie? Haile Selassie, the first is a direct descendant of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Mm -hmm. And well, King Solomon ruled the Queen of Sheba, who is known in the Bible as the Queen of the South, mm -hmm. heard of his greatness and his kingliness and his devotion to the Mosai, and she decided to pay him a visit. Mm -hmm. According to the book of the, in the Bible in Kings, it is said that the Queen of Sheba <laughs> gave Solomon the greatest gifts that he has ever received, including gold, ivory, frankincense, and more, and all sorts of precious um, spices and so forth. And she went to King Solomon and she adorn him and uh, King Solomon also gave her her heart's desire and uh, before she left Ethiopia, before she left Jerusalem, she became pregnant and on her departing, departing King Solomon gave her a ring and told her that if she have a boy child, must return him to him, King Solomon, and he will crown him King of Israel. And while she returned to Ethiopia, she discovered she was pregnant. She therefore had a boy child. His name was Menelik the first. Or in Jerusalem, they call him David the Second. 
he looked everything like King Solomon's father, King David. When he was 21 years old, he returned to Jerusalem and where he eventually met King Solomon. King Solomon crung him and wanted him to stay in Jerusalem and rule. But he, King Solomon's son with the, with the Queen of Sheba, his name was Menelik the first, like I told you, and he promised his mother that he will return to Ethiopia. So when King Solomon asked him to stay, he told him no. He left Ethiopia, and when he departed from Ethiopia, he took with him the Ark of the Covenant. And up until this day, the Ark of the Covenant is in Ethiopia. The Ark of the Covenant, which was handed down and given by Moses from the Most High, and it is still presently in Ethiopia today as we speak. And that is the lineage that Haile Selassie came from, a direct descendant of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. He is from royal blood, royal dynasty. Yeah, that's good for uh, just an insult about Aile Salafi. I, I think you have got your friends with you. Uh, maybe you'll be able to translate yeah. English to Swahili because a lot, I, I can say 80% of the listeners who listen in Reddy Box, I'm sure they're not very good in English. Yes. We need to, 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 to simplify for them so that they can get something from Reddy Box, from Moshi FM, so that they can benefit. <coughs> Yes. Yeah. The, the, the aim of you being here is to, to make people understand what you are talking about. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, I think you are Ras. Ras. Yeah, Ras Omeja. Ras Omeja. Ya kutoka Ras Squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, let me see a uh, Ras here too. Yeah, let me see a kaka Ras here too. Alikuwa yeah. naongelea kusujiwa Aile Selassie. Mhm. Mm <coughs> Tukijaribu kusema kwamba alikuwa anasema kwamba Haile Selassie ni, 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 ni uzao kutoka kwa mfalme Suleiman ambayo alikuwa ni Suleiman na Queen of Sheba kama ukisoma kwenye Bible ambayo Queen of Sheba alitoka Ethiopia kwenda kumtembelea King Suleiman Israel ambapo kule alipokwenda kwa King Suleiman Israel alikuwa ameenda kumtembelea kama queen kutoka Ethiopia sasa king kule akawa ame andaa vitu ambavyo kama vile mgeni akifika lazima muandalie laba vyakula nini na kumfanya ajifili katika hali ya kuja kufurahi basi na yule malkia naye akajifili kumpa King Suleiman zawadi kama vile ambavyo na King alivyomfanyia yeye basi ndipo ambapo King Suleiman na Queen of Sheba wakawa wamekutana kima kimwili na baadaye Malkia of Sheba akawa amepata ujauzito sasa wakati anataka kurudi Ethiopia Suleiman akamwambia kama ukienda Ethiopia mtoto atakayempata kama atakuwa ni wa kiume itabidi uweze kufanya mpango wa kurudi tena kama vipi umrudishe umrudi naye tena huko Israeli kwa babake naye akajue basi Queen of Sheba naye akafanya hivyo alipofika Ethiopia kule alipozaa mtoto wake Menelik wa kwanza the first Menelik ambaye alikuwa ni mtoto wa Suleiman na Queen of Sheba baada ya kufikisha miaka kama ishirini hivi na moja ishirini na tano Maneliki alikuwa amekuwa kuwa akabidi na yeye aende kutembea kwa baba yake Suleiman Israeli kule na Suleiman akamwambia Meneliki kwa sababu umeshakuwa mtu mzima abidi saidi uongoze Israeli Suleiman akamwambia baba yake hapana lazima nitarudi Ethiopia kwa sababu kule Ethiopia liko ambako mama aliko na lazima nikaoendeleze ufalme kule basi ndivyo ilivyo Meneliki alipotokea kule kwenye uzao wa Suleiman alikuja Ethiopia kuongoza nchi ya Ethiopia kama mfalme ndio pakaja kutokea na yaka pata queen akazaa akazaa uzao wa rasa Makonen ambayo alikuja kumzaa Haile Selassie kwa hiyo king aya tu hapa ametuelesha kwamba king Selassie alitokea katika uzao wa queen of Sheba na king Suleiman straight yeah Okay, Every time they mention about Ethiopia, even in their song, they mention about Africa, especially Ethiopia, but we have here that Ethiopia is a Zion gate. 
that's good because the design get Ethiopia haikuweza kutawaliwa yeah. na na na, na mambo ya tumwa hakuna mtu aliweza kutawala pale kulingana na na misingi bora ambayo inaweza kuwepo pale ndani ya Ethiopia lakini pia tumeweza kusikiliza historia ya Haile Selassie the king of king Haile yeah. Selassie bado tuko ndani ya nyumba ikiwa dakika 40 na saba zimeondoka baada ya saa 6 tunaendelea kusikiliza kipindi nukta mbili mosha tembelee makini kana zimeka kazi kama kawaida reggae box kisa kamili paka 12 kamili 10 kamili utakuja kusikiliza habari kufupi hapa hapa ndani ya reggae box lakini ni sala pili unaenda kusikiliza vitu vingine vingi vizuri ikiwepo hiki moment nilishakwambia awal tutaenda kusikiliza stage kuu kulikuwa nini baada ya kurusha kipindi kile jima mosi iliyopita tutaenda kuangalia je tatizo lile lilitatuliwa au vipi niche mwana wa mungu nazidi kusonga mbele niko na mgeni wangu wa nguvu kutoka Iceland uh, of Saint Vincent and Grenadines. Yeah. Lakini anaishi New York, USA, America. Jamaa anaitwa Ia tu. Ia tu. Ia tu. Ia tu. Pamoja na Ras Omeja wakiwa wanawakilisha Ras Squad all the way from Arusha, Jengo, Africa. Tuende tukasikize ngoma nzuri sana kutoka kwa kwake jamaa anaitwa Justin. Tumeanza na ngoma za Kiswahili sana. Tumeanza na ngoma ya kwanza kutoka kwa kwake Ras Gwai ngoma inaitwa Kaza Kaza Samoa. Hii inatenda ngoma ya pili kutoka kwa kwake jamaa anaitwa Innocent. Ngoma inaitwa KZ. Twende tukasikilize ngoma inaitwa utaratibu gani? Ah, tumechagua dini wenyewe. Tumechagua vyama vya siasa wenyewe. Tumechagua makabila wenyewe. Inakuwaje tena vitu hivi vinatengiza kwenye mtafaruku wa hali ya aina yake? Ni vipi bana? Utaratibu tunajiwekea wenyewe lakini bado unatukia kwenye majaribu na kusikia kwenye matata. Naweza kunukuu namna hii. Hii ni mkoa ambao pia uh, kuna mgombea ambaye alikuwa anagombea kwenye nchini Kenya Raila Odinga anasema uh, democracy exactly. imeingiwa imeingiwa mali ya rumi kile kitu kile kinaitwa utaratibu gani kutoka kwa Justin kitu kizuri nadhani utakuwa umekipeza kwa muda mrefu vipi kuna vipata tu ready box kupitia system ile ya ni whole point of view sana na sana kwa sababu ni hata kwa kwai Africa is very